Hey guys, welcome back to another quick build. Today, I have decided to do the 2005 Subaru WRX SCI rear wheel drive, and it's got the LT1 motor. I don't know why. It's just not made for V8, and it's also not a rear wheel drive car. It's not made for this, but I figured I'll give it a shot. But, um, the car looks good, at least. I love the way Subarus look. They always look really good, and... They always handle pretty good too, especially if you use them for rally racing and just the off-road challenges that are in this campaign are really good. Um, I don't know what to say about this car really. It just, it's in the rain. I kind of waited around, but I didn't want to keep waiting and waiting and it starts to uh, dry up near the end, but I just start screwing around at the end so it doesn't really show much about the car. <laughs> the, uh, the build, I'm think it's just a little over 600 I think it's like 606 horsepower I didn't want to overshoot it and I also didn't want to go too low I wanted to have something with power that I can just throw in corners and go everywhere with and you know the car does it it really does handle its way oh it's just it's different people I use it online for a little bit and people think I'm using an all-wheel drive Subaru which is a little annoying so you do got to understand if someone calls you out for all-wheel drive then just prove them wrong, do a burnout, and start sliding around them and everything, whatever. But uh, besides that, this car is actually pretty fun to pull out and have some fun with. It's really good on the long sections. Because if you could throw this up into fourth gear, which for some reason I didn't test it in fourth gear on the video, I didn't do any long sections with it. It's really nice. Um, small corners is pretty good at, just don't get the RPMs too low. You might just start bogging out a little bit and... You don't want to really bug out. Trust me, it's not fun, especially when you're trying to run with people. You just look like a complete idiot. But uh, I have an Elgato now, and the uh, I'm going to be using that to record videos soon. I just need to get some uh, preparation for it. I have to figure out a way to get my voice recorded a little bit better. That way, I'm not pulling out you know quality or not so quality videos. That's the point of an Elgato, is to have better quality and to have something a little bit easier to work with and be a little bit, you know, a bit more cleaner on the way I make the videos because the uh, Upload Studio isn't the easiest to use right away and uh, might be a little bit better for me. I'm working on getting it working on 60 frames. If not, then I'm just going to have 720 or 1080 as high as I can get it. I'm just going to have it as clean as I can for you guys. I'm still not sure on what I'm going to do about the mic quality. I might just uh, figure a way to get my Turtle Beaches hooked up and just use that for now. And then invest into a mic later on when I can afford to invest. But as of right now, the Elgato's here. So quality is going to get a lot better soon. Videos are going to look a lot more crisp, a lot more clean. Hopefully I'll be able to get better audio so that'll be nicer. And I need to work out a couple noises that are going around me so I can get the uh, videos to have just my voice and game uh, volume. But, um, oh, this car will be uploaded to my storefront, so just search up my gamer tag. I'll just have it labeled, you know, quick builds. I'll have it labeled the episode number, which I believe is episode 7. This is uh, just a little pre-record because I've got some stuff to take care of. But um, besides that, the car is pretty good. So if you do want to invest in something different and you want to give this a try, then please do. And of course, you know, you can give me your feedback. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your day. Thank you.